we're asked to determine the derivative of the given function using the limit definition of the derivative. The limit definition of the derivative is given here, where f prime of x, or the derivative of f of x, equals a limit as h approaches zero of this quotient, and this quotient is called the difference quotient. So using the given function f of x, we'll have f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches zero of, again, our difference quotient. So looking at the numerator, we want to find f of the quantity x plus h. Notice x plus h is the input into the function f. So wherever we see an x, we'll substitute the quantity x plus h. So f of the quantity x plus h is going to be three. And instead of x squared, we have the quantity x plus h squared minus, instead of five x, we'll have five times the quantity x plus h, and then plus seven. So all of this is f of the quantity x plus h, and then we have minus f of x, so we'll have minus, and to make sure we subtract the entire function, we need the quantity three x squared minus five x plus seven in a set of parentheses. Without the parentheses, we'd only subtract the first term of the function f of x, not the entire function. Notice our denominator is just h. Notice how we cannot perform direct substitution to determine this limit because we'd have division by zero. So our next step is going to be to simplify the numerator. To do this, let's begin by squaring the quantity x plus h. So f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches zero. It is important to keep writing the sigma notation to have proper notation. So we're going to have three and then times the quantity. When we square the quantity x plus h, we'll have x squared plus two hx plus h squared. Let's go and take a moment and show how to square the quantity x plus h. There are no shortcuts here. To square the quantity x plus h, we'll have two factors of x plus h. And then we'll have four products. One, two, three, four. So we'll have x squared plus hx plus hx and plus h squared. Combining like terms, we do get x squared plus two hx plus h squared, which we already have here. And for this step, we'll leave everything else the same. So we have minus five times the quantity x plus h plus seven minus the quantity three x squared minus five x plus seven and the denominator is still h. So I think an important part of doing this correctly is just taking your time and showing detailed work. So for our next step, we'll clear the parentheses. So we'll distribute three here. Because of the subtraction, we'll distribute negative five here. Then because of this subtraction, we can think of distributing a negative one. So f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches zero of Distributing three, we'd have three x squared plus six hx plus three h squared. Distributing negative five, we have minus five x minus five h, we still have plus seven. Distributing negative one, we'll have minus three x squared plus five x minus seven. Again, denominator is still h. And now we'll combine the like terms in the numerator and several of the terms should be opposites. We have two x squared terms. We have two x terms. And we also have two constants. And notice how three x squared minus three x squared is zero. Negative five x plus five x is zero. And seven minus seven is zero. So the numerator simplifies nicely to six hx plus three h squared minus five h. And the denominator is still h. Let's continue on the next slide. Notice how we still have the issue of division by zero if we try to perform direct substitution. But now notice in the numerator, all the terms have a common factor of h. So we'll factor h out of the numerator 
and then simplify this quotient. So if we factor h out of the numerator, we would have h times the quantity 6x plus 3h minus 5. Notice here we have h over h, which simplifies to 1. So now we just have the limit as h approaches 0 of the quantity 6x plus 3h minus 5. And notice how the only term affected by h now is this term here, 3h. And as h approaches 0, 3h approaches 0. And therefore, this limit is just equal to 6x minus 5. And now we have our derivative function, f prime of x equals the quantity 6x minus 5. Before we go, though, I do want to go back up to this step here and show an alternative method for simplifying this quotient. So going back to f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of, again, this quotient here, 6hx plus 3h squared minus 5h all over h. Because we're dividing by a monomial, we could simplify this by dividing each term in the numerator by h. This limit is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 6hx divided by h plus 3h squared divided by h minus 5h divided by h. And now if we simplify each fraction individually, we will get the same limit. So now simplifying, h over h simplifies to 1. Here we have a common factor of h. The denominator simplifies to 1. Here we just have h to the first. And h over h simplifies to 1 here as well. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of, here we just have 6x. Here we have plus 3h. And here we have minus 5. Notice the function is now in the same form as we see here using a different method for simplifying our quotient. As h approaches 0, 3h approaches 0, giving us the same limit of 6x minus 5, which is our derivative function. I hope you found this helpful.